Now, last episode, we built this massive tree wow. in the overworld to hide the nether portal. And today, we're still going to be focused on the nether portal, but this time the one in the nether. Today, we will be building a massive nether hub on the nether roof. I'm thinking we make some kind of like spooky mansion looking thing. I feel like I could uh, probably come up with some interesting design. I really want to use a lot of nether blocks in this build, obviously, since this is a build in the nether. And I'm not too experienced using those blocks. I normally don't use many nether blocks. Of course, though, that's going to be at the end of the episode. So let's talk about what we're going to do to start this episode. Now there are two things I would like to get done before I start building uh, the nether hub. The first thing is I want to get a beacon. It might take a while because wither skeleton skulls are fairly rare, even with looting three, but I definitely want to just tackle that in the beginning of this video. I actually don't even know if I have enough blocks to make like a full beacon, but still getting any kind of a beacon will help a lot with gathering materials. The second thing I would like to do is I want to build an iron farm probably the same one we have in the castle up here. I want to build that in the spawn chunks. So it's always running. I've been running out of iron in this world because, uh, you know, the one I built up in the castle here is not activated when I'm working in the area. I thought it would be, it just isn't. So I had to AFK this for a little bit and I have, I want to say like five stacks of iron now. Actually it's like six and a half stacks of iron, really not that much. So if we build, you know, that same iron farm in the spawn chunks, should make my life a lot easier you know when it comes to making lanterns and hoppers and stuff like that those are the two other main goals i have for this episode of course the third one uh being the nether hub there might be some other random miscellaneous stuff we do throughout this episode but let's get started with the first goal which involves me heading to the nether also last episode we moved the nether spawn on top of the nether roof already and i don't really want to go break any bedrock right now so i'm just gonna go make a new portal somewhere else that will take me just to a random spot in the nether. Don't tell me I'm out of obsidian. I will not believe you, please. Your boy is definitely out of obsidian. Well, that sucks. I have to go back to the end, but I guess I can show off something else I did between episodes. So I made a couple more nether portals on the nether roof. One of them hooks up to spawn and one of them hooks up to the end. They're actually very close to each other too. I don't remember which one this one is, but there's one over there and this is the one I just came out of. So they're all very close to each other. All right, so I set up another portal here in the village. This should be far enough away. So it'll, you know, generate a new nether portal in the nether and we will no longer be on the nether roof. That was incredibly convenient that that just actually spawned me in a fortress. That's hilarious. I'm assuming though that this is the fortress I've been to and I kind of want to go to a different one. I want to find a fortress in a soul sand valley. I'm going to fly around a little bit here in the nether then and let's see if we can find a soul sand valley. I also kind of want to find a bastion to raid a little bit. I don't want to look too much in one because I feel like even with netherite armor, uh, those brutes are terrifying. But I do want to find pig step like pretty badly. That's like the best music disc, man. It's so good. There's this bastion over here that I found a while ago. I think I'm just going to kind of peek my head in real fast. Let's see if I can grab a couple chests. No pig step, but I did find a lodestone. Not gonna lie, I don't know what that does, but that's cool. This is what the speedrunners do, right? They just mine around because they know exactly what they're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna mine right into a chest. Just wait for it. Right here. Bam. Wow. That worked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go. I had no idea that would actually be here. That was insane. Maybe I should speedrun Minecraft. I'm already a genius. I probably missed like a thousand chests in this bastion, but I'm just gonna head out. I don't really know what I'm looking for, how to loot those things. So we're just gonna head over here, which is actually exactly where I wanna be. Game, stop skipping, please. But this is exactly where I wanna be, in a soul sand valley with a nether fortress. This is perfect. Oh yeah, those guys are all mine over there. All right, it's time to start the hunt. Here we go. First try. First try. First try. First try. First try. First 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 try. Let's go. Definitely called that. All right, time to get the rest. I got another one. Wow. Okay. That was super lucky. Let's go. I got the third one. Those last two came so much faster than that first one. And I'm not sure why, but I'm not complaining. Let's just head down to the mines then and actually fight this wither. I'm going to do this a pretty safe way because I don't trust myself to fight it in the overworld. I feel like that is a very easy way for me just to completely lose this world. And you know, I'm not trying to do that right now. All right, here we go. Let's fight this bad boy. Let's kill him with my fist. I accidentally switched to my sword. I didn't mean to do that. I had that fully under control with my fist. But whatever, we got the nether star and also some diamonds. I mean, cool, I guess. So we finally have a beacon now, which is huge. So I will definitely take that. The first goal of this episode, 
is completed. Now, next up here in the video, I want to work on the iron farm at spawn. That guy is a liar. Um, hi, it's Editor Shram. Nice to meet you. But I did end up making an iron farm. It sucked really, really badly though. I don't know what I did wrong, if I built the farm incorrectly or if I just have to spawn proof a lot more. I have no idea, but this iron farm was terrible. So I don't want to waste your time with a section of the video dedicated to something that is like essentially broken. I will fix this in the next episode. I don't think I'm going to actually like tweak the iron farm and make it better. I can probably just get away with going down into the mines and actually just physically mining the rest of the iron that I need because I don't really need that many more blocks. And if I can find one big like massive iron vein underground, that'll be more than enough. So I'm just going to move on to the nether hub and that section of the video now. Now my plan for the nether hub is to make like a really big spooky kind of haunted mansion sort of thing. That's kind of the vibe I want to go for. And to do that, I want to mainly use a bunch of like black blocks for the walls. And since this is going to be in the nether, we might as well use some nether blocks. And this is actually not where I want to be. I mean, I want to be in the nether, just not on the roof. So <laughs> let me fly over to the village where I built that other portal earlier. And we're going to go collect up a whole bunch of like basalts. We'll grab a bunch of black stone. And then for like the roof of this place, I want to make it out of like crimson wood. We're going to have like stripped crimson wood as well. And probably some purple terracotta. I really like what that looks like with the other two blocks. But we are in the nether now. So I'm going to go collect up a whole bunch of basalt, which I really don't want to do. This is actually like a little dangerous. A lot of lava beneath me and I don't have any potions but I think as long as I'm careful I'll be okay and then after this we'll collect up a whole butt ton of that stuff right there that black stone we got one entire shulker of basalt that'll be nice to have now let's fill up another one with black stone all right another shulker box filled this time with blackstone now let's go grab a whole bunch of crimson wood i'm not gonna fill up an entire shulker with it let me just go grab a whole bunch of this i'll probably fill up like a little bit more than a third of a shulker with this stuff i'm actually going to do this in a very different way i only got about two stacks of the crimson stem but i'm gonna bring a bunch of this stuff the crimson fungus to the overworld and just grow it there Man, so I know I said I was going to get like a third of a shulker of this stuff. But oh my god, this stuff is so annoying to harvest. It reminds me so much of mangrove wood. So I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, we might come back to that in a little while. Instead, I'm going to go to the mesa biome, which I completely forgot where it is. Probably off in this direction somewhere. And I'm going to go grab a bunch of terracotta. So this is actually the first beacon I have ever made. I've never used a beacon before. Which might be a really weird thing to say, but straight up, I've, I've just never done this. But let's go ahead. I think this is how you do it. It looks like it's haste too. Yeah, I'll do that. And then we can now hopefully instamine this stuff. Oh, it's not instamine. Do I have an efficiency 5 on this? I only have efficiency 4. Hang on. Maybe if it's efficiency 5. Oh, there we go. So much better. So now let's just gather up a ton of this terracotta. I'm going to fill an entire shulker with this probably because it's very easy to get. Yeah, well, that took all of like five minutes. These beacon things are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys knew that, but a uh, big, big advocate for beacons now after that. That saved me a ton of time. We still need to gather up a few more things. And I'm actually kind of running out of shulker boxes, which is sort of funny. But I want like white blocks to use in this build too. I was thinking like calcite, maybe diorite, maybe some other third block in there that I'm not thinking of right now. Um, but I think that would look really good. Yeah, this video is kind of all over the place, isn't it? It's just the, the wacky stuff you get over here on this channel. Um, no, I don't end up using any of the white blocks, alright? I don't think it looks good once I start throwing them down. But, I do need to find a geode to get the smooth basalt. That is something I do end up using. So, I do right here go end up finding a geode. We gather a whole bunch of smooth basalt. And then we're vibey, we're chilling. Okay, so I am running out of shulker boxes. So, I want to go and just grab a whole bunch of dark oak wood. And then I think I'm going to start planning out the build even though we probably won't have enough materials. I have like one more empty shulker here, which I can fill with dark oak wood. So let me just go find a nice big dark oak forest and then I'll just go shopping. I filled up maybe about half of this shulker box with uh, dark oak wood. I also stripped it all because I'm gonna need that for the build. And I'm getting a little impatient, honestly. I'm kind of tired of just collecting materials. So I'm gonna head to the nether and we are gonna start building. Completely scratched that. I just forgot something. I need purple dye. Ah, dude, it's just so many materials for this build, man. I need to get purple dye because I need to make all the terracotta I harvested 
purple. Now, what's the best way to get purple dye? You want to sell me any, my man? Brown dye, lime dye. If only you had purple. No idea what just happened to that guy. He said he had to go. I don't know. Where did these come from? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> let me clear out my inventory again for, like, the eighth time in this video. And then, um, I'll figure out the best way to get purple dye. I think my best bet right now is to combine red and blue dye to get purple dye. So I'm gonna take all of this lapis I have and just make it into dye. I don't really need much lapis anymore. I'm not gonna really be doing uh, much enchanting in the near future. And I do have a bunch of poppies that can be made into red dye. So let's make as much purple dye as we can. We have like two and a half stacks of purple dye. How much terracotta will this get me? Actually quite a bit of terracotta here. This might be enough for a very solid start on this. I was able to make a lot of this into the purple terracotta, not all of it, but I can always convert the rest later if I need it. All right, so this will be my home base for the next bunch of hours. Now, I found this picture on the internet. Kind of just looked up spooky mansion. And I really like the vibe of this mansion. And this is kind of the idea that I want to go with. So we're going to be taking some inspiration from this picture here. And I'll begin here by just laying out some blackstone, I suppose, just to get the dimensions down. We have ourselves a layout of how big this is going to be. And it looks kind of weird from up here. But this is the size of this build. All right, it's going to be pretty big. It should be perfectly symmetrical now. Don't know if it's going to stay that way. Also, these magmas could actually become an issue. Might have to spawn proof everything here. Maybe we'll just put like a bunch of carpet down or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it might not stay perfectly symmetrical. Might make it a little bit wonky to add to the effect. I don't really know just yet. Um, but this is definitely at least the size of this building. We're going to have a lot of room on the inside. I do think, though, that we are ready to construct this thing. At least a lot of it. I, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done with the blocks I have. But I'll do as much as I can. And I'll be back after a while. This is definitely going to take me some time. All right, so I'm back right now because I do need to go collect some more stuff. And I haven't really done anything with the walls, but I put on the peaks of the roof and I'm kind of liking what this layout looks like right now. When it was just the dark oak and stuff, I wasn't super sure about this. Uh, I thought I'd have to like rebuild the whole thing because I didn't really know if I liked the shape. I didn't know if this thing was going to look good in the end. But I think with like the roof put on, or at least like part of the roof put on, I'm a lot more comfortable with where I'm at. But we do need to go grab some more deep slate. I've completely run out of the deep slate stairs. So I'll probably go fill up like a shulker with deep slate just so I, I for sure have enough for the rest of this build. All right, I got an entire shulker box now of deep slate. Of course, this is going to be made into the deep slate bricks. I'm also going to grab all the spruce wood I have, which is actually quite a bit. I have a bunch of leftover spruce wood and I don't exactly remember why. Maybe I was just harvesting my trees at some point. But I'm going to grab all of that, probably heal up my pickaxes. And then we should be good to start building again. All right, so we got a good bit of progress done on this mansion, but I'm out of a lot of blocks that I actually now have to go back and collect more of. One of those blocks is uh, purple terracotta. Now I have a little bit more terracotta left in a shulker box down here, but it's just regular undyed terracotta. Okay, well that kind of hurt, um, but it's regular undyed terracotta. It's this, okay. I don't think this is going to be enough to finish off the rest of the roof here, but at least we don't have to gather an entire shulker. It's really not hard to gather terracotta though, it is instamine with a beacon. But I'm definitely at the point with this build where I'm having a lot of trouble imagining this looking good. I don't know if it's too big, it's just too much of a mess right now. It's really hard for me to imagine kind of what it's going to look like when it's completely done. But one bright spot is I really like what the roof looks like. I really like the colors. I think this color combination is like perfect for what I'm going for. The deep slate trim is also super nice. I think it accents it very well. But we have a ton more work to do still. Is that a ghast? That is most certainly a ghast. All right, hang on a second. Don't, don't, don't destroy my house. Don't do it. Don't destroy it. Hang on. Get out of here. I, okay, what is, what is the hitbox in these things, man? Stop destroying the house. All right, we had some damage. 
It's not a huge deal, though. I can fix that. Uh, we also need a lot more dark oak wood, because I'm completely out of that as well, and I need more uh, to section off the build still. Now, I'm sure you guys are just absolutely thrilled uh, to watch me gather more materials again. But yeah, I gathered some more terracotta to make it purple terracotta for the roof. After that, then I gathered the second best wood in the game in some dark oak wood, following that up with the best wood in the game, spruce wood, where I'm stripping it as I go. It'll just make it a lot easier uh, to build with later. And those are all the materials I wanted to gather right now. I was going to gather some crimson wood or crimson stem, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I was just a little tired of gathering up materials. Now let's cut it back to the Shram in the video where he's going to say almost exactly what I just said. All right, so I'm actually a little tired of gathering materials, so I did not get any crimson wood. Instead, what we're going to do is kind of just work on the walls. I need the crimson wood for the roof and we'll work on that later. But let's see if we can get these walls mostly up. I really hope I have enough materials to get this done. If I don't, then I'll just have to go get some more which I really don't want to do, but let's see what happens. All right, so I've made quite a bit of progress, but I have uh, run out of blackstone. <laughs> I, I don't want to collect more, but I have to. I grossly underestimated how many blocks this was going to take, but we have a good portion of the walls in. Also some random spruce there that doesn't actually have to be there. Whatever, not a huge deal. Um, but I kind of just need to finish off like this side right here that I'm looking at and like the peaks of uh, a few of the, like, the rooftops and for that we need more blackstone so let's go collect a whole bunch more I mean I have a little bit left I guess I didn't completely run out but that's definitely not enough to finish off everything else so back to the nether I went and I gathered up a whole bunch more blackstone and also while I was here I gathered up uh, all the crimson stem I was going to need to finish off the roof I have finished the structure as of now, right? There's a whole lot more work we still have to do detailing this thing, but at least it is like a full building right now. There are some small gaps. Like as you can see right there, that is on like every side of the building. Um, I think I want to make that like a balcony of some sort. I just haven't really decided what kind of floor block I want to use yet. That's why I've left it blank. And I also just realized I missed something on the roof over here. All right, I think we're good now. I think I fixed it. So for the rest of the episode here, we're just going to be detailing the outside of the build. I'm not going to do the interior in this one. I really just want to get this video out. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've uploaded because I've been working on this for so long. But let's start doing the exterior. So let's try to come up with a window design. I do have to remember that the floor on the inside is going to be on that level. Because I'm not removing all of the bedrock inside and replacing it with a floor block. That is just not happening. So the floor is going to be on this level. So the window has to at least start here, probably. Maybe I'll go a little bit higher. Or maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just make some really tall windows here. That could probably work pretty well. That's a pretty good size, just based on the scale of this build. And let's see what kind of window design I want to go for. Now, I have a bunch of deep slate uh, brick blocks, because I think I want to use that for, like, the trim of the window here. Throw some stairs over there like that. That's a good start. Let's go. We're on to something here. Let's build up here a little bit. Now, I got these walls, which we can probably bring all the way up to the top. Actually, let's go one block before the top. Can I do something kind of funky here? What about something weird like that? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's not the right block. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like when I connect this all the way down again. Yeah, it's looking kind of nice, I think. We could also even do this. Since the window will go on the inside one, I can even have this connect right there as well. I think I like that more. Yeah, I think that's looking good. I think that'll be the window design. And then along with the windows, we are going to add some lovely spruce trap doors because they are honestly just the best block in the game. Can you stop? No one invited you. Get out of here. Your children too. We got a little bit of trap doorage and stairs to test this out, to see what I want to do here. So I'm thinking we just do something very typical. Okay, not jump off my scaffolding. That's not what I meant. All right, we threw down some trap doors and some stairs at the top. 
I feel like it doesn't actually do all that much, but it's doing something, at least. I also changed up the window design just a tad. We put a wall at the top. I think it looks pretty good. Forget about that piece of deep slate just floating there. All right, I'm not going to get it, okay? Actually, it's bothering me. Let me go get it. I want to work on the entrance next. So let me just start throwing down some dark oak and stuff, and I'll see what I come up with. I think I'm okay with this entrance. Looks pretty decent to me. We can throw some lanterns on top of these walls then, too. Now, I did just realize something. This entrance should have been one block higher due to where the floor is going to go. But I think I can probably just put carpet on top of the bedrock in here and then put, like, a stair in here somewhere that goes up to... Uh, the actual, you know, base floor of this building. I think we'll have to get rid of one piece of bedrock, which is this one right here. Because I'm not going to be able to put a carpet there with the door on top of it. But that's not a big deal if it's only one piece of bedrock. Maybe three. Maybe I'll get rid of these three pieces of bedrock here. But that's not a huge deal. Way better than getting rid of all of the bedrock on the inside of the house. Um, but yeah, anyway. Let's decorate the rest of this building. I'll come back once I get the entire front face, and then we'll just kind of copy that design all the way around. We got, like, the entire front of the mansion decorated, and I think I'm okay with it. I definitely missed two walls up there, though. One's supposed to go right there, one's supposed to go over here. How do I keep realizing that I missed something right when I start talking again? Now we should be good. All I need is glass to fill in the rest, but we'll get that later. But I think we can replicate this same design all the way around the house. Now, some of the windows will have to look a little bit different. Like, for example, like, the windows right here that I'm gonna put, like, we can't make a whole thing around them because it's, like, too small of a space. But most of these places can have some pretty large windows. So let's go start working on that. I literally just noticed potentially the worst thing ever. Can you guys tell me what's wrong with this wall? Yeah, um, this one has a four wide gap. This one has a five wide gap. They were both supposed to be five. Get, dude, get out of here. I'm complaining. These were supposed to be five, like it is over here. What this means then is I would have to extend this side of the build all by one block. I'm not doing that. So what I'm going to do instead is just take down this section. Maybe we don't take down the entire section. Hold on. Let me see if I can do something else to this instead. I think this is what we do instead. We make this a door. Not sure where this is gonna go, but this is now going to be a door. Alrighty, just pretend that there's a door here. I'll fix that later. I do believe all of the walls should be decorated. We just need to add a couple more things to this build, and I think I can call it complete. Now we just need glass. I wanna put a chimney on this. And I want to hang some lanterns all around. So just three final things. Hopefully they don't take too long. All right, I got all the stuff I needed from my storage room. We have a couple furnaces down here now smelting up some sand so we can make some glass. While that's smelting, though, let's work on the chimney. And I think I'm going to use some of this basalt finally. I want to get some use out of this, all right? And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start with some basalt here. And then I kind of want to transition this into the stone and the tough and stuff. All right, I don't think I like this. It's also just too boxy. I have to change the shape of it for sure. I think what we do instead is use like the basalts and then bleed that into some black stone or something and not actually use any regular stone or cobblestone here. Let's see, how are we feeling about that? I think that's a good shape. I am fine with this. All right, let me build it up a couple more blocks. And now normally I would go with trap doors to cover this, but instead I want to do something different. Let's do that for the top. How does that look? Pretty decent, I think. As long as I throw some stairs and put like, some more supporting pillars on this, I think that's going to look pretty good. All right, it's a bit like wonky looking, but I think I like it. I think that acts as a nice chimney for this kind of house. I think that works. I think that actually works out pretty well. Like, it's a little skinny in some spots and then fat in some other places, but honestly, I'm okay with it. It gets the effect I'm going for. Cool. All right, so lanterns and glass. And then I think we are done with this build. So let me go do that, and when I come back... We'll throw on some shaders and take a look at this build in all its glory. The shaders are on, all right? Making the nether roof look as pretty as it could possibly look. And I'm very excited to show you guys what this completed build looks like with shaders on. I think it actually looks really cool. Anyway, though, without further ado, bada boom. This is the build. I kind of really like the, the effect the nether roof has right now. Like, the building's, like, wiggling. That looks kind of cool. Anyway, though... Do I have my rockets out? I do not have my rockets out. Uh, professional YouTuber here, by the way. All right, cool. Wait, hold on. Now, now we're good. All right. Um, yeah, here it is. The roof is pretty dark, but honestly, that doesn't matter. Usually, you light up a roof, like, on the overworld, just so stuff doesn't spawn on top of it. But even if it's lit up in the nether, 
stuff's still gonna spawn on it so it doesn't actually matter all that much and for the windows let me kind of explain what i did there i combined white stained glass and regular glass the idea is to kind of make the windows look older like they've been there for a while and they're like deteriorating a little bit or like fogging up or something that's kind of the idea i don't know if that effect is completely shown here but that's what i wanted to happen Got a whole bunch of lanterns all over the place. I could have used, like, the other lanterns, like the nether lanterns, but I think the regular lanterns look better in this case. But yeah, I'm definitely very happy with how this build turned out. It is the single biggest building I have ever built in Minecraft, so that's cool. It looks really good, in my opinion, from over here, like, when you're coming out of the nether portal, like... That just looks sick, man. I'm sorry to gas myself up, okay? But I'm actually kind of proud of this. I, it's, it's a very weird feeling when you're building something and you don't think it's gonna look good and then you finish it and then it looks good uh because that's kind of what i'm feeling right now when i was in the middle of building this thing i thought it was gonna look like poop i did not think i was gonna be able to make it look good and i'm definitely at least satisfied with how it turned out but thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed my nether hub there has been a bunch of new subscribers over on the channel recently and i really really appreciate it so if you are new thank you very much uh for deciding to check me out and if you're still watching this whole time, also, obviously, thank you very much for the continued viewership. You guys are the best. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. That, that's not where I wanted to zoom in. Whatever. We're gonna, that's, that's the outro.